Welcome to video 12.5a, Volumes of Pyramids and Cones. I'm going to do a little demonstration first to help you better remember the formulas. Here I have a cube and a square pyramid. Notice they both have the same base area. And notice that they are both about the same height. Um, all right, so let's see what the ratio is and we can better remember the formula. I'm just going to start pouring water in here. One, a little bit of leakage. I'll be a little bit more careful. Two, three. So a little bit of leakage, but you can see it took three um, fillings of the square pyramid to fill up the uh, cube. So pretty much the volume of this square pyramid will be one third of the associated cube. This cube was the area of the base times the height. So this will simply be one third the area of the base times the height. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with um, the volume of a cone and a cylinder. Notice, once again, they've got about the same height. And notice they've got the same base area. Let's again try to find the ratio. Maybe this will be easier to pour. One. Two. Three. That one worked out a little bit better. I had some leakage before. So you could see it took three pourings for the cone to fill up the cylinder. So the cone's volume will be one third of that of the associated cylinder. The cylinder's volume was the area of the base times the height. So the cone will be one third the area of the base times the height. So the way I remember it, for the pointy solids, there's that one third factor. To summarize what we just learned, the volume of, of a pyramid is one third the area of the base times the height of the pyramid. The volume of a cone is also one third the area of the base times the height. Uh, for a cone, the area of the base will always be a circle and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So this is easy to remember and then hopefully you could quickly uh, derive that. Now what we'll do is a couple examples and be done with this lesson.